What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Jr. You're watching the Rage and Nation show. This is just Webster's. We're talking about all things matter me in the world of movies. Let's talk about Star Trek 3. And Star Trek 3 is, of course, the third installment in the rebooted Star Trek franchise. And it follows immediately after Star Trek Into Darkness. Star Trek Into Darkness was superbly excellent. It was a fantastic film, which I thought is actually the best one out of the two that we've seen so far, Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. Now the third one is coming and I'm really excited to see it, especially now that they have announced who their director is. And it isn't J.J. Abrams. If you don't already know, J.J. Abrams will no longer be attached to directing another installment of the Star Trek franchise. He, however, will be serving as a producer. In the first two films, he was, a, he was the director and also in the first two films, Alex Kurtzman and Roberto Orsi served as writers and also producers for those two films. Now, the third time around, it's going to feel a little bit different because not only will we not have J.J. Abrams as the director, but there won't be Alex Kurtzman on board as well. Instead, we will be getting J.J. Abrams as the producer only. Still, it is a lot of work uh, to be a movie producer. And also, we will, we will be getting Roberto Orsi as a producer, as well as a writer. No Alex Kurtzman. Now, this is where Alex Kurtzman and Roberto Orsi ended their partnership. They have been working together for a very long time and have worked on a lot of films together, including uh, Transformers, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. They were also uh, executive producers for the awesome Transformers Prime cartoon series. Um, they were, of course, involved in uh, a number of films, not only just uh, Star Trek, but also um, uh, another production from Paramount Pictures, and that would be Eagle Eye, also starring Shia LaBeouf. Now, now here's the part which gets really, really exciting, and that is, originally, they had Roberto Orsi attached to direct Star Trek Three. In his directorial debut, I thought that this was something that could be quite exciting, considering that he has been part of the uh, the franchise for quite some time, and with J.J. Abrams serving as a producer, it won't look that much different from the first two in terms of its uh, a visual style and also the, the 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 storytelling, right? Because. You know that when J.J. Abrams served as, as a producer, you know he's able to get his fingerprints all over the movie. Well, I'm sure we're going to see some of that, but we're all gonna, also going to see another level of action, considering that they now have a new director, and that director is Justin Lin. If that name sounds familiar, it is, of course, because he has directed films like Fast and Furious 6, Fast 5, Fast and Furious, and Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, which would be the last or previous four Fast and Furious films. And I thought that Fast 5 is the best one out of the entire franchise. Fast and Furious 6 was very, very awesome, but Fast 5 is still the best. But something that it tells us is that Justin Lin really understands action and character-driven storytelling. All right, he, he can make a very character-driven story. He's able to balance storytelling amongst all these different characters. And not only that, he's able to keep it very, very exciting. Now, something you got to know about uh, Star Trek Three before Justin Lin was announced as a director is that the, the, the studio executives wanted Star Trek Three to go in a different direction. They want The direction that they wanted it to go in is... Well, the example that they used was in the style of Guardians of the Galaxy. And that is science fiction action fun. Okay, that's what they wanted to see. I, a lot of people had a lot of fun watching Guardians of the Galaxy. It was action-packed. It had a great story. The characters were very well written. And on top of that, they just made it very fun and funny. And I was thinking that... Why do they need to bring it to the same level as Guardians of the Galaxy, considering the movies are fine the way it, they are? I don't know why there needs to be an emphasis on the whole Guardians of the Galaxy storytelling style by James Gunn. I think J.J. Abrams is able to do a good job with the, with the uh, script that he's been given from Alex Kurtzman and Roberto Orsi. Well, 
looks like they need want to uh, studios want to step it up a bit and because of that they have now officially hired Justin Lin as the director now I, I feel that some really hardcore Star Trek fans might be a little bit let down because some of them have actually said that they, they, um, the new, re new rebooted franchise from J.J. Abrams is really, really far out there. It's just, it, it doesn't feel like Star Trek. It feels like Star Trek on steroids or it feels like, like um, they, they kind of butchered it in a way to make it more like an action, action science fiction film. I personally don't have a problem with J.J. Abrams' vision, mainly because, first of all, it's a reboot, and second, I don't want to see... A, you know, a, an, an episode of Star Trek. I want to see a feature-length movie version of Star Trek, which includes a certain level of cinematic quality, both in uh, storytelling as well as visual storytelling. So J.J. Abrams was able to bring that to, to the fans, and now Justin Lin is going to do that for us, and I think this is very, very exciting. Now, with Justin Lin working on Star Trek uh, 3... He will no longer be attached to directing the Bourne Le Legacy sequel. And while it's not 100% confirmed that he is no longer attached, he is at least going to delay the project. Or at least his attachment to the franchise as director will at least be delayed until Star Trek 3 is done. So that's what's happening, and it's something I'm very, very excited about. This will be very interesting to see how the director of Fast Five and Fast and Furious 6 will bring his own flavor and style to Star Trek. A very, very epic science fiction tale. Anyways, what you also got to know is that we now also have a release date, an official release date for Star Trek 3, and that would be July 8th, 2016. That is um, uh, a year and a half from now. Yeah, a year and a half from now, we will be getting Star Trek 3. So there you have it. That's what's happening with the Star Trek, uh, the third installment of Star Trek. We now have a director. That would be Justin Lin. We also have an official release date. That would be July 8, 2016. And there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. This, like I said before, the studio executives want... Star Trek 3 to have a more Guardians of the Galaxy feel. All right, how do you guys feel about that? And how do you feel about Justin Lin directing Star Trek 3? Do you think he's going to bring the, the cast of Fast and Furious on board the, the, the bridge of the Enterprise? I'm just kidding. That would be pretty hilarious. Vin Diesel as Captain James T. Kirk. That ain't happening, but they're probably going to have uh, NOS. When they're jumping on warp speed. I'm just kidding about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name is Oxy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Hilarious comedic actors. And North Korea is considering this an act of war. Alright? Now, there are only, what, uh, 